COVID-19 has now a foothold in almost every country on earth with 375,498 confirmed cases today and over 16,000 deaths in 195 countries. At the United Nations, we are especially concerned about the impact COVID-19 will have on fragile countries with weak health systems and vulnerable populations. Now is the time for, for solidarity in the face of this threat to all of humanity. History will judge us on how we responded to the poorest communities in their darkest hour. Let's act together and right now. Hundreds of millions of children are not in school. Parents and caregivers have lost their jobs and borders have been closed. Children are the hidden victims of this pandemic and we're worried about its short-term and long-term impacts on their health, their well-being, their development, and their prospects. We're worried about their lack of access to water and hygiene services. As you know, washing hands with soap is critical in the fight against COVID-19. And yet, 40% of the world's population, or 3 billion people, do not have hand washing facilities with water and soap at home. Children and young people are missing out on some of the best moments of their young lives, chatting with friends, participating in class and enjoying sports. This increases anxiety and can cause changes in behavior. Once bustling city streets have become eerily quiet while lines outside hospitals stretch around the block. Makeshift morgues are being prepared. The governor says in three weeks, coronavirus cases will hit their high point. In cities like New York, social distancing appears to be working with the number of new cases slowing. That is offering a glimmer of hope. Meantime, here in Los Angeles, we're told that the order to stay away from crowds could last as long as two months. This virus, does not respect borders. Because time is not on our side. In fact, if there's one positive thing that can come out of the Ebola epidemic, it's that it can serve as a early warning, a wake-up call to get ready. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. For many of us, this is the challenge of our lives. And it is going to get a bit worse before it gets better. The case numbers will go up. But as in China, they will come down again. The important thing is to support each other and stay calm. We're only at the beginning of this fight. We need to stay calm, stay united, and work together. So I see a clear conscience emerging that uh, it's time to stop the conflict in order to concentrate our effort in the real war we are facing and that is war against COVID-19.